Hi, Anna Estellas here with another Coaching Karma video in which I invite us all, whether we are coaches, we're actively coaching people, or we are being coached, or we are looking for a coach, um, and uh, some of the things that you might want to be aware of when you're um, either looking to coach people and they're applying to work with you, or you're looking to work with someone and you're checking them out and, and seeing how good a fit that would be. So one of the things that I want to say is really not great coaching karma for a coach E is to um, be blind to your own shortcomings when it comes to recognizing how you need to step up to the plate. And um, usually I find this is true for people who are incredibly disorganized. They are the hardest people in the world to coach because they, um, they run around in, in sort of fluffy circles and uh, confusion. And you kind of try to reach out to them and say, whoa, just stop for a minute. Let's go through this step by step. And they gin so much anxiety up for themselves that they really have a hard time doing this. And then they want to they want to pass that anxiety over to you so that they, they don't have to feel it. And they don't have to take responsibility for stepping up to the plate and organizing what it is that they want to um, say, do, offer, write, all of it. So I think it's really important if you are being coached to really pay attention when you're having uncomfortable feelings arise and um, there are areas of doubt and mistrust and these do come up and these are really wonderful opportunities for you and your coach or your coaching group to have a really frank conversation that um, covers issues of integrity and covers issues of control and covers issues of um, what I have, uh, I've been on the, the short end of the stick of some amazing uh, abuse from coaches who thought that I, I because they, they were paying me that I had signed on to accept that kind of abuse. And I was like, no, that's not the deal. <laughs> so um, there are a couple of things you can do to um, prevent this, bad coaching karma to land on you in the future. First of all, be sure that you are writing down the questions that you have. And if you're thinking a process through, you're trying to coach and you can't write it down and articulate a good question about it, that's something to let your coach know about because you're not understanding something and you're trying to understand. And that's, that's a great moment for coaching. So when that happens with technology, um, if you can't tell me what you want me to do and if you can't describe the steps or at least the pieces that you think are um, included in what you want to do then that's an opportunity for us to communicate and for you to ask some questions to make sure that you understand the actual steps of what you're trying to do how it actually works and how it fits in overall with your strategic arc of whatever it is you're working on in your coaching. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is to um, be transparent and ask your coach to join you in that space of transparency. I think one of the problems with um, uh, life on earth as we have known it, and this is passing away, is that um, there's a quality of secrecy and shame and transparency doesn't serve the ego. So if you're having a moment where being transparent is difficult, there's a really good likelihood that your ego is involved and it's going to screw things up. So for instance, um, if I'm in a private coaching group and someone has a question about what I'm doing or a decision that I've made, I I'm absolutely in transparency. Please ask me and we'll have a conversation about it. Um, I think that's really the healthiest way to approach a situation where you're feeling a doubt or a sense of mistrust. Simply ask for a moment of transparency. Ask for it as it's a need that you have, which your coach should be able to meet for you. And if your co coach can't meet you in that space of transparency, the chances are you need another coach. Okay? So that's the second thing that you can do. And the third thing that you can do is you can recognize where your growing edge is in the moment.
and take responsibility for your own growing edge and communicate that to your coach. You can say, you know, this is going on for me right now. And I'd like to ask you about it because you may have some insight into what this is or why this is. And, um, you know, this may be an opportunity for you to reassure me about our coaching relationship. And I would appreciate it if you would listen and then let me know that that's where we may be. So, um, and the fourth thing you really need to do is to really think about if you are a controlling type of personality, it's your job to hold that in check and to appreciate that um, we all want to have things done well and have them done um, so that they make sense and, and they're meaningful. But to um, take your own control issues and overlay them on a coach and then use that to um, enhance your own sense of self-esteem or to make yourself feel better about not knowing what you don't know. Bad coaching karma. Okay. Uh, let me know what you think. And we're, we're moving into fifth dimensional energy now. So this stuff is just not going to fly anymore, which is why I'm making this video. Take care.